Hi, welcome to another video of Yocto tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a recipe with DevTool. In previous recipe, we have learned the about some basic things about the DevTool. It was kind of introduction to the DevTool. In this video, we are going to learn about the following topics: DevTool workflow, some important commands in DevTool, and uh, an example with a make file. If you haven't watched my introduction to DevTool, please watch that first and then continue with this video. So let us begin with the DevTool workflow. So how to create a recipe? In DevTool, <coughs> we have the following four blocks: a source, a workspace, target, and layers. A source is a repo from which we fetch our source code. For example, we have a source code somewhere, for example in a git or somewhere else from where we fetch that source. If we use this add command, the, so the dev tool with dev tool, the dev tool which will fetch that source into the workspace and it will create a recipe according to the source. For example, if there is a make file in a source, so dev tool will try to create a recipe which is based on OE run make. If there is a CMake file in a source or a CMake build system in the source, the dev tool will create accordingly and so on. In this example, we are going to learn how to make how to create a recipe of a source that is based on make file. Then when the source is fetched here and the dev tool will create a recipe, then we can run the build command to build the recipe same as same as we do in bitpick. So for example in bitpick we do bitpick and the name of the recipe to build but in here we will do dev tool build and the name of the recipe th that we have created. <coughs> After that if the build is successful <coughs> so we can deploy that on the target. If the build is unsuccessful so we need to check what we need to add or subtract or modify within the recipe. So then after that if the build is successful we can test our build into the target system using deploy target. In our case the target is BeagleBoon Black. So we will deploy our target to the BeagleBoon Black and then we will run our final output or some kind of binary file that we have as an output a, a bin file or uh, some code or some util that we have uh, just uh, compiled or we have just built using dev tool we can check that on our target using deploy target after that if we are satisfied and we are certain that it is working properly then we can undeploy and the that binary or that final output will be removed from the target after doing everything th when we are certain then what we can do is we can finish our task what does finish mean finish means that we need to place our that particular recipe that we have created into the layers into the layer system and we will remove it from the workspace there are some also sub uh, some uh, arguments that we need to give to add to deploy a target undeploy a target and finish that we will learn in the further in this video <coughs> So, in summary, to create a recipe from scratch using dev tool, these five commands are very important. Add, build, deploy target, undeploy target and finish. So first of all, let us see what is our source. I have created a git repo that is a simple C uh, program for calculating the factorial and along with we also have a make file. I will put the repo in the description that we are using in our this tutorial. Before we begin with the dev tool, we have to source our environment as we do always for also our, for our bitbake system. So we will do source oe run make. So now here you can see that we can also use dev tool. If our workspace is not created, then when we run this our add command, the workspace will be created and it will be automatically added to our dblayers.conf file. So let us create the, let us execute this add command first. Along this 
in this tutorial I will also demonstrate some errors that we can get while building the our recipe so first of all let us do def tool add and the argument is the name of the recipe the name that we want to give to the recipe the first res name is uh, the name that uh, I want to give the, to the recipe is factorial and then after that the repo in our case that is a get repo that I have created and now I will press enter you can see that we have we got an error here we got an error here because if you do not specify from which branch do we need to fetch this repo then the dev tool will try to fetch from master branch as it is written here but in our repo we don't have our master branch instead we have the branch name as main so what we can do is we will give an extra argument src branch main and then src branch main and then we will try to run it once more so as you can see that this time it has built and it has added and created this factorial underscore get dot bb recipe now what we can do is we will see our bblayers.conf <coughs> as you see in our bblayers.conf this workspace is also automatically added to our conf file bblayers.conf file otherwise our dev tool will not work because it cannot see this folder <coughs> now what we'll do is first of all we'll check the recipe what it has created for us so you can see that here is the src uri that is which is from get factorial dot get and the branch is main furthermore it has also automatically created our version the revision it has set our source directory you can see here we have these three build processes to configure to compile and install but you can see that there is nothing to do in do configure if you want to do some extra step to configure our build then we can add it here right now we don't need it so what we'll do is we'll remove now let us see our sources what do we have in our sources to see the sources you need to go into the workspace sources and here you will see that we have a factorial this hello world dev I have created in the previous video and this is our new factorial code so in this we will go and we will see that here we have two main files c dot c and dot make file so what now we can see both of these files using this so in the factorial file it is a simple factorial code which asks for a number and then it generates the factorial or calculates the factorial in make file we have how to compile or make this code so here we have our default compiler it is GCC our C flex our target name our user bin if you don't know how make file works please watch my video on creating recipe with make file which is without dev tool so now what we'll do is first of all we will simply try to build the recipe to build the recipe we need to run dev tool build factorial it is building you can see that we have got some error and this will be the case most of the time first of all we don't have we have an error during do install what does it say it says that 
cannot install cannot create regular file user bin factorial permission denied why it happens because if our if we see our make file here in install process we are installing to the prefix and the prefix is user bin this user bin is actually the user bin of my this laptop or this my system host system which cannot be accessed without the permission but we do not want to install it in our host system we want to install it our in our target system to do that we need to override this prefix so to override this prefix there are possibly two methods first of all we can give here an extra argument for prefix and it will install it into the that particular folder we can also use extra oe run make so in our case we are going to use extra oe run make if you don't know how to use extra oe run make please watch my video on extra oe run make i have make i have made an extra video for that we'll use extra oe make and then here we will give prefix equals and where we want to install we want to install into our destination the variable of the destination is d if you don't know please watch my video on basic variables in yocto there i have explained about the basic variables for example destination source and further on and then we need to install it in our user bin whose variable is bin dir so now here now we have overwritten this prefix variable which is now in the destination folder now what we'll do is we will run it once more after running it once more again the installation fails why it fails this time it says cannot create regular file user bin no such file or directory what we need to do is before we install our binary into user bin we need to create it so how we create it we in the install we'll do install minus d and then we will do d and bin dir so now it will first create the folder and then it will install in this folder so now what we'll do is we'll run it once again as you can see that once again we got an error it says file format not recognized what does it mean first of all let us go to our source uh, we are already in source let us see here we have this factorial binary already created but what is the problem actually so let us check by running this command file factorial if we run this command you can see that it says 64 bit and it is been built for the x86 64 system it means it has been built for my this particular system if i will run it from here it will definitely run and if i calculate so it will give me the answer as well but we don't want to build it for our this system we want to build it for not for our who we, we don't want to build it for our whole system but we want to build it for our destination system for our target system for that what we need to do is if we see that here our c c and c flags are for this host system we also need to override all these two variables for that we can also use extra omake variable so first of all c c which will be equal to and here we need to keep in mind that we need to provide these single commas i don't know if it works 
but we definitely need to define the double inverted commas let us try it first with single inverted commas and then here we need to pass this cc compiler variable this compiler here is actually our cross compiler that is used by our build system and this cc variable holds the cc variable holds the cross compiler for our arm system and all its uh, flags now we need to give c flex and also with c flex we need to provide this c flex variable of our target system now let us compile it build it once more If you see this time it has been built successfully and now if you will check again using the file variable uh, using the file command this time you see that it is 32 bit and it has been compiled for the ARM system now what we will do is we will deploy this into our target and we will test it there so I have connected the BeagleBone Black using SSH so first of all let us check if the factorial is already present or not I have written a factorial and it says no command found this time now we will deploy and we will then finish it and we will create the recipe and we will transfer the recipe into the layers into our meta layers but that we will do in the next video thanks for watching please like and subscribe my channel and i will see you in the next video